Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and we are back at the Ocho with a number of different updates on different issues and a few positive things going on here. Um, the power is back on, so that's great. I know a lot of people have been wondering about that. Excel did come turn the power back on, and we were able to rig the power up that same day. I posted a video a few days ago, so I'll talk about that. Uh, we had a court date for the squatters who were living in one of the units, that did not go as planned, so I'll talk about that as well. And hopefully, hopefully, I might be able to get some quarters out of the laundry machines here because we've had a, a hiatus for quarter collection because my office got broken into and our laundromat keys, or laundry machine keys stolen. So I'll talk about that. We'll go see if there's any quarters in there and see if our new keys work. So that will be exciting to see as well. First off, um, I had posted before about Excel turning the power off. We had residential lines at this property, uh, meters, and those are all switched over to our name a year ago when we bought this property. But Excel never switched over a commercial line, and we had no idea that existed. And apparently it ran the boiler and the um, hot water heater. So they turned that off without telling us because it never been switched over. I don't know why it took them a year to do that, but it took them a year to turn it off. And it happened um, last Thursday, a little over a week ago, when it's starting to get real cold here in Colorado. Didn't leave a notice anywhere, didn't contact us. Uh, I know we had never switched that line over, but we switched all the other residential lines over, and we had no idea there's a commercial line. So apparently we had to call their commercial department to get that line switched over. It's a residential property, we had no idea about that. So that's what happened there. Um, and with the other issue, um, so I had called Excel um, we paid the bill on Thursday they kept saying they're going to come over every day and, and turn on, they never did I called them on Saturday, recorded that call, put it on YouTube where they refused to come out and help us because it's a weekend and their commercial accounts don't work on weekends so that was very very frustrating and apparently sometime over the weekend they came back and turned the power on didn't call us didn't leave us a message, didn't say anything, just it was back on. And that is, is that one of the squatters that are going into the squatter unit. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we got that back on. And then Saturday night, the night where we were really scrambling, uh, we had our guys come over, run extension cords from another unit. That tenant was nice enough to let us do that. And so we were able to get the heat and water back on by doing that so that all the units still had power we just didn't have power to our boiler or water heater and they needed that to run so we were able to get them heat back on and at some point over the weekend Excel came back and turned it back on as well so even though they said they wouldn't they didn't work on the weekend somehow um, my harassment <laughs> got them back out here uh, I don't know if someone saw my video or someone mentioned it to them or whatever but that was good to see okay and for the story on the squatter unit I mentioned this before, but we had a tenant whose lease was up. Uh, we did not renew their lease. There was a couple of different issues throughout the tenancy, and they said, okay, that's no problem, we'll leave. They left, did not pay their last month's rent. I think they're assuming the deposit would cover it. And they left, and then supposedly their sister-in-law moved in to help clean up the place, because it was left really dirty. And the sister-in-law had called us and said, oh, I paid the deposit, I paid, I gave her money for rent. She never paid it, so I'm coming to clean it up to get my deposit. And we're like, well, she didn't pay the last month's rent, so probably not getting that back. And she said, that's okay, I'll, I'll be out in a couple days. And two weeks later, was not out, we filed for an eviction um, and kept talking to her over and over again. Eventually, she finally left. And the day I came over here to see if she's gone, there were people in the yard waiting for me. And apparently some other people had moved in to that unit and one of them was the old tenants ex I believe who claimed that he lived there although we had a signed document from the old tenant saying no one should live there her ex didn't live there anymore he'd moved out before and then that person had also invited two of his other friends to move in and live there and we don't know exactly how many people were living there but it was quite a few and at that point I talked to the police lawyers uh, we done another, another eviction here last week if you remember that that was a crazy eviction a horrible eviction on a different unit where there were kids and just one of the dirtiest units I've ever ever seen so much stuff 
and um, got yelled at a bunch by those tenants. So I talked to the sheriff then, uh, we had to call the police later, I talked to the police, and everybody just gave me a different story on the squatters and if we can just call the police and have them removed, if we have to go through eviction. But basically the police and sheriff said, you need to go to the courts, you need to get some kind of court order. Um, even though they're squatters, they have squatter rights. And they said we go through a squatter eviction. And so I talked to my attorney, talked to my lawyer, I always have a lawyer, to go through this stuff to make sure we don't mess it up. And they said, no, we'll just go through with the other eviction, that's the easiest way to do it. And so that happened Tuesday of this week, and we were waiting patiently for a call and what would happen, and he called back and said, um, well, we have bad news. One of the supposedly tenants showed up to court and said he lives there, he's on the lease, and he just needs more time to leave. So the court scheduled a hearing for two weeks from now. I'm like, are you serious? Like, he's not on the lease, he's never been on the lease. And then I guess he claimed he had assistance money that we refused to take, which is not true. We've never been paid by him one dime, never had any assistance emails or documentation at all. And basically he just went to court, made up a bunch of stuff, and the judge said, okay, we're gonna do a hearing now. So now we have to wait for that. And our lawyer said it should be no problem. They should, you know, issue us a, a writ to do the eviction as soon as that happens but now we have to wait another two weeks part of that is because thanksgiving is coming so they can't get anything scheduled sooner and then after that then we'll have to wait for the actual eviction to be scheduled so it could literally be three to four weeks until we can do eviction while these people live here for free who aren't on the lease who shouldn't be there and um that's very very frustrating so that's one of my most Really, out of all the things that have happened, my office being broken into all the other stuff, this is probably the most frustrating situation to me and just um, really irks me the most out of all of it. So now let's see if there's at least some positives and go see if our laundry keys work and if there's any quarters in here because I don't think the people who broke into my office got into this laundry room. So that's a good sign and I'll talk about, about that here more. So we'll check the laundry. I have not checked this laundry in so long. And before we do that, there's a weird camper that keeps parking around here. And I think someone's probably living in it, but someone in that blue car literally just used a coat hanger to get into it and go in the camper. So uh, hopefully they're supposed to be in it, but it's always interesting. We've got our garages broken into. You might have seen my short I posted where we just bought a bunch of garage door openers on Black Friday sales to try and uh, help deter that. And then, um, yeah, for the laundry room up here, what has happened is my office was broken into about a month ago. They had stolen my laundry machine keys. We have these machines, and then we have a couple of other machines. And, um, then the people had broken into a laundromat, probably trying to use my laundry machine keys to get into there. They didn't work. And I have not mentioned much of this at the Ocho or my other properties because in case the thieves were watching my videos, I didn't want them to know where they went. And we might have had the addresses written on the bags. They stole my bank bags that had the keys in them. We might not have, so I couldn't remember. So I think we got lucky and they didn't get in here or take the quarters, but I'm not positive. So, and after the eviction we had last week, I hopped in here to check on the machines and both the trays were gone. And I was like, no, they got in here and they stole our trays. But then I'm like, well, they shouldn't have stolen the trays because then no one would drop quarters again. And we called our locksmith and he's like, nope, don't worry. I took the trays with me. It's kind of difficult changing these out. So I just took them into my office and um, was redoing them there. So. That was good to hear. And then, yes, if I can find my key, supposedly, these should open up. And, oh, we have quarters. Quite a few quarters, because it's been a very long time since we checked these. So we'll go to the complex too and check that one, because that's one where, if you remember, my son owns one of the washing machines. He worked really hard to save money and buy one. And yeah, he's been a little perturbed about the whole situation too but hopefully he can get some quarters back as well so that's cool to see we'll count those later see how much is there and that's been what i think about a month so that might be about right but then for a while there 
at least a few days, maybe longer. These were just open so people could just put a quarter in, get free laundry, get their quarters back. So obviously not a big deal, but there would be more in a normal month. This is kind of funny as well too. So the Ocho is right down there on that same block. And then the laundromat that they broke into, and this is part of the reason how we were able to catch them because the laundromat had really good cameras, got their faces, is right here. They were like two blocks away from the Ocho breaking into this laundromat thinking all laundromat keys are the same. And it's kind of ironic how close they were without realizing it to where the actual keys went. So at least the positive side is the laundry machines work again and the thieves didn't get any of my quarters there. So after counting the money, we got 118.25 from the Ocho, which is pretty good. Normally I get from, you know, 15 to 20, five dollars a week from there so um, sometimes a little more so that's about right i think it's a little over a month that we had um, the quarters that we could not retrieve so i'm pretty relieved i'm pretty happy not just that i got the quarters back but that the other people did not get them so that makes me happy i need to count up the complex next there in this hat because like i said i didn't have my bank bags that was kind of weird because the washer bin was full of quarters and the dryer bin only had like $3 in it, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But we got these quarters back. We'll see what happens with the eviction here after Thanksgiving. Uh, really should never have gone on this long, but um, just a weird situation, and I know it's happening to a lot of other people as well with the whole squatter's rights thing, so we'll see how that goes. And we'll get the garage doors installed. We're remodeling the unit that was evicted, so I'll show that to you here soon. I'll count up the complex money, see what is in there, figure out what I want to do with the split between my son and me. And then um, we'll have lots of other videos here coming up too as well on the post-occupancy hoarder house, other flips we're finishing up, um, other properties we have. There's always some exciting things happening around here. All right, thanks for watching. Love the comments, love the shares, love the likes. Keep those coming, and uh, I'll be back here soon.